So let's take a look at this the situation and the problem where your Wi-Fi button on the iPhone, but also on the iPad is simply not clickable. You can tap, but nothing happens. Grayed out Wi-Fi button is something that happens from time to time. And here in this video, I'll show you what you could do to fix it, but also more generally what it actually means when you see this. So first of all, the button is supposed to work 99% of the time. So this isn't something that you should see often. The most likely cause for this problem is the hardware fault, probably something going on with the antenna inside the device that made the Wi-Fi not usable. And now what happens is that the operating system cannot access the hardware part, the Wi-Fi antenna, and therefore doesn't allow you to even click the button. What can you do in this situation? Well, when you're sure or suspicious of some hardware damage, let's say you remember dropping your iPhone underwater for an extended period of time. So in this case, you may even know that something could have gone wrong hardware-wise inside the iPhone. When this is the case, make sure to bring the iPhone back to the Apple store or to a different repair store to let a professional examine the device. Okay, so the next possible reason for this is some kind of restriction that prevents you from using the Wi-Fi. Whether you set it up personally or someone else on your device, it doesn't really matter. In this scenario, you need to find it and disable the restrictions. In iOS, the restriction section can be found in the settings, then it's inside the screen time section. Once you're inside there, you need to tap the content and privacy restrictions. And if you have this enabled, I would advise you to turn it off. There are many things that could be blocked and restricted. So chances are that when you limit some websites and internet content, the Wi-Fi would be disabled. Or during downtime, you may want to limit the internet usage, basically keep the restrictions off and you don't really need to worry about anything. Another pretty common thing that happens is a glitch or a software bug. Sometimes a simple restart or even reset can fix many problems. There is a chance that the Wi-Fi button that's not clickable is caused by a software error. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything deep. It could easily be just a software bug that would go away after restarting. So before you continue with anything, just make sure you restarted the iPhone. The next thing many people tend to forget about is the software update, although it's not very common that the iOS update would bring this big of a change or this kind of bug fix, it's possible that it would fix it, especially if you haven't uploaded for a really long time. I'm pretty sure you know where to find it in the settings. It's right in the general section. With every iOS release, Apple also talks about security issues and flaws that are being addressed, meaning they also pay attention to the behind the curtain stuff. So a software update could also fix the problem. And even if not, it's always a good idea to keep your devices updated. If everything else fails, you'll probably need to see a professional that will take an in-depth look at your device. But as I said, it's likely that there's a hardware fault inside the iPhone. Anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful and useful. For more videos like this one, make sure to stay tuned for more videos similar to this one by subscribing to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and also take a look at the next video you can see on the screen. Take care. See you later.